We've lowered taxes, we've made it a better business climate, uh, we've poked the, uh, the federal government in the eye at least one time, maybe twice, maybe three times now that I think about it. But we told them that we're going to manufacture guns in Kansas and if we don't send them across the state line and if we don't uh, violate the, uh, anything in the Interstate Commerce uh, Clause of the Constitution, we'll run afoul of that, then they need to keep their federal agents away from us and our guns and stay off of Kansans. Some of the other things that we've done is we've told them that we don't want any insurance exchanges. Thank you very much. Keep your bribe, keep your money. We're not going to do an exchange in Kansas, and we didn't. And we've been chastised for that by, by a number of people. And they say, how could you not take federal funds for three or four years at 100% of what it would cost? Uh, and with the expansion of Medicaid, how could you not do that? And then after that, the federal government will pay 90% of the cost, and you'll only have to pay 10. How could you turn down all that free money to be coming into Kansas? And the answer is, we've looked at your books. And quite frankly, federal government, we think you're broke. We don't trust you. You don't have the money to make good on your offer. Taking care of people is important. Uh, we've improved several things in the several areas on human services. One of those improvements is, is if you're on TANF, which is taxpayer aid to needy families in Kansas, there's a good chance you might have to take a drug test. Uh, if we suspect that you're run afoul of drugs and you're getting assistance, you will be required to go into a drug program. You will be required to go into a job training program. You will be required to attempt to get a job. But what we care about is protecting the uh, taxpayers, taxpayer dollars, and make sure that the dollars are going to people who need it. And those people, if they need help with drug problems or with job-related uh, problems, that they get it. So that's a change. We've also put in a zero income tax on LLCs, S-Corps, small businesses. Small businesses are what drive the economy. Those are the people who do the hiring. That's where jobs come from. And we had a record last year in uh, filings for small businesses in Kansas, highest we've ever had. We've had 14,000 new jobs in the last quarter in Kansas, in the uh, Kansas City area, 400 in the Missouri side at the same, during the same time. And these are, not jo these are not jobs that are picking up people, bringing people in from, just from Missouri, they're coming in from all over. So it's beginning to pick up. More local situation, I've met with the uh, Piper School Board, the president, and some of the members of the board, and superintendent, and I'm trying to help that. Piper School Board, I'm impressed, is doing a very good job. They've got 9.5 administrators for the whole school district. Uh, that's up 0.5 over the last 10 years. Uh, they're growing. Uh, they've got a very low uh, cost per student. Uh, and their students are performing extremely well. And they're being hurt by the way the school funding formula is right now. If the rest of the school districts in Kansas were performing at the level that they are, we wouldn't have the problem that we do. The problem that we do is we've got a Supreme Court that's getting ready to tell the legislature, we think, this is how much money you're going to have to spend on K-12 education. Two problems with that. One, we don't have the money. But more importantly, that's not the Supreme Court's job. No Supreme Court has the authority to write checks. <clears throat> Last year, we tried to get the woodlands open. Uh, there was a bill that came up to open a casino down in southeast Kansas. It got 15 votes in the Senate, needs 21. Uh, but that was after I put an amendment on it to open the woodlands as part of that. And it was a hostile amendment. Uh, we had a fight the leadership of the Senate. We had to find a number of people on that. We got 17 votes for the amendment on a bill that failed by 15 votes. This time we have a good deal lined up, I think. We're dealing with uh, the senator from southeast Kansas. He's going to propose the same bill, and it's going to have the amendment in it. And it's going to all, we're going to join forces. They're all going to go forward, and I think we have a fair chance of doing that. If we do that, I've been told by people who are involved 
that there's a good chance that we'll have a buyer and somebody to operate the woodlands and we're liable to have horse racing again in Wyandotte County here, which is, we need that. <laughs>